How's it going everybody and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Minecraft shaders mods or shader mod and this is using a, a magic launcher magic launcher just makes it much simpler it just puts in the mods in you don't have to do any dragging like copying all the files and everything you just have to simply select it and it's very simple to do with magic launcher and I'll show you how to do it I'll show you all these downloads this is a uh, these will all be in the description and you just have to download this Optifine. It has to be this one, for, uh, and this has to be that whatever. And then for Magic Launcher, it will come on this page. You download or you scroll down a little bit, and then there will be for Windows for Mac. Uh, I'm using Windows, so I don't know if this will work for Mac, but I'm sure it will be very similar. And so once you download all those, you'll get these four files, and I want to just put this aside for a sec. Um, you'll get these three. This is what we're going to work in with beginning. You want to open up Minecraft first and uh, you want to force update it just so you have a clean jar so if you've got mods already it doesn't screw up anything because some mods aren't compatible with Shaders mod so you can just get a clean jar and then once you get a clean jar it'll be all good. So once this is done, come on, it'll be done soon. So, yep, there we go. All right, now we're gonna want to open up Magic Launcher, and there's going to be three buttons. It's a little bit more complicated than the normal one. You get all these stuff, this stuff, and whatever. You can click on Setup, and these. This is gonna be blank for you. It's gonna look like this. Um, what you're gonna want to do now is you want to click Add. And then it's gonna come up. You're gonna you can look. If you click on this, it shows all your folders and everything. You want to just gonna click on the desktop because that's where you put your uh, your two, your three, your two mods or whatever. And you want to get to find the Optifine first. Make sure it's this one, the HDUD2. And once you click that, click OK or open or whatever. If it says there's like an error or it's something like that, then that means it's a uh, old mod or it's a uh, something it's not compatible or something so you want to get a different one or whatever now you're gonna to want to find the shaders mod MC 1.5.2 that is right here click open it says it's okay that's good and then we're gonna to want to click okay so then you can also for uh, magic launcher you can there's just more stuff uh, pretty sure somewhere you can uh, yeah, here we go. You can change your memory if you want to put more memory into Minecraft. So you can put instead of one gigabyte or two gigabytes or whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you. It's if you've got enough RAM. So once we log in, we're gonna go onto options and you're gonna see this extra button. It's shaders. These shouldn't be here for you. It's just gonna be um, none in internal and what to do is you click on open shaders folder and this is gonna be empty um, and then you're gonna to wanna to go over to the shaders packs thing you downloaded you double click that and when you get this folder uh, that's shader packs and you click on that and then it's gonna be a Rudo plays you wanna just drag that onto the desktop and once you click that you're good and then this is gonna be here and you're gonna to want to just drag it in it's gonna move and replace whatever so that's gonna be it that's all you have to do so now if we go on to here we click on Rudo plays whatever go on to a world it's gonna be all pretty it's gonna have the shaders the water's gonna look all nice uh, maybe I don't know what's happening but normally yeah so <laughs> that's how you do it there's multiple there's also different shaders I don't remember where I got this one but I've got this cell shaders it kinda looks like a borderlands kinda feel but uh shaders mod isn't not a mod that most people can run it's pretty difficult to run so if you don't have a super nice computer then I don't recommend you trying this cause it'll just end up in you either crashing or uh not being able to run it. I mean, even on half screen, I can run it fine. But if I go into full screen, it it runs pretty slow, 
and especially this is just shaders mod or uh, this one is extremely slow when it comes to full screen for me but that's just if you've got a better computer you'll be able to run it and yeah so if you got any questions about what if I didn't do do good if or not do good but uh if something wasn't clear enough in the video just comment and I'll try to my best to respond and try to help you out see if uh, I can do anything about it and yeah this is this is the shaders mod it's pretty it's a really nice mod it's it makes the game much much more realistic I mean as realistic as blocks can get so thanks for watching make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want more there's I make minecraft videos and it's kind of miscellaneous videos with like GTA and everything uh, yep, just leave a like, subscribe if you'd like, and have a great day.